I believe I can fly. I believe I can soar in the sky. Hey, minions! Welcome back to my stream! I am Lord of the Skies, and we are gonna play a little bit of Ice Combat 7 Sky Song Now! Because we all know a little bit of. You know, we will have had a. Um, you know, a childhood dream? And my dream was actually. Oh, actually, my dream was. Was, um. Uh, conquer a world without. Moving a finger pot, uh, but uh, well, that's another thing. Another thing that I wanted is to become a pilot one day. Until, well, actually, stuff got in the way, and then I wasn't able to actually get my pilot lessons. But anyway, I really want to play this game because it's one of my favorite games. Because dog fighting, when actually it doesn't involve any dogs. They're planes, they're not dogs. Why is it called dog fighting in the first place? But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna try to play a little bit of the campaign in this game because the campaign in this game is actually really cool. And I freaking love uh, the fact that this this game has a replayability, like you unlock a lot of planes, a lot, uh, a lot of weapons for the planes. And you can restart the game and you actually have a lot of other uh, uh, things that you unlock. <laughs> That's a really cool like, thing for this game. So let's play the campaign. And okay, I'm gonna play... Now let's play on easy because I want to play as much as I can. So... Let's see the story a little Does bit. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? Yeah, it's the color of the ocean. It does to me. Of the ocean. A hell of a lot. The color of the sky is the color of the ocean. close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. I can totally tell that. My sky is... Beyond the sky is... have been in my less. family for four More generations. Darker. Flying's in my DNA. Hmm. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. Hmm. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Hmm. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Hmm. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I bought a plane I got my from scratch is just geezers. They pretty cool. They me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. Hmm. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. <laughs> I've had it all year. I mean, that, it looks like it. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. Hmm. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Ow. Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. What if I told you that actually all the things of heaven and hell Finally, doesn't work? Doesn't work. Out. What? I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Well, you better pray to your uh, whatever god you pray. Because I, if I were able to buy a plane, 
I'm just gonna consider it a death trap. <laughs> but again, it's... If you can make a really good plane by your own, I think it's... It's impressive. It's kinda impressive. Well, no, it's impressive. But I'm not sure if you can go to space with a... With a plane? So, I flew up. Straight up. Through the clouds. Higher into the sky. Dark blue. Dark blue. I could almost touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. You should've been where the best would be, piece of junk. Should've built a return too. Ah, there she goes! Yep! Okay. And that's how our main character died! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not the main character, but I think that's one Is of everyone them. here. One car my characters of the game. I said settle down. Which story in this game? Instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping. Okay, force. after the break. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately after. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will. What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Aye, aye, sir. But anyway, I was. Uh, well, that's why I'm trying to say that the. Story on uh, Nice Combat 7 is. <laughs> it's kinda. just a little distraction. Because it, it doesn't actually take have anything really related with. Just to. just to have a little. Um, what's, what's the word that I'm talking? A, a little way to actually have a story in there. But let's be honest, we are here to, to play and to fight and exploding things on the middle. That, that's the word <laughs> I, I want to use. I want to clarify. So, as you can see, I have everything unlocked except for the multiplayer game because multiplayer games in this in Ice Combat 7 is not as good as it looks. But again, this is a arcade game, and I and I really want one. I don't really like that. That this you can actually get your own get your own plane and sort into the sky song known and that's actually a really bad pun but, but still is it is the way i talk so deal with it i'm gonna use the Each f2a this complete. is a dlc plane but it's but it's one of my really a really cool plane to play air to air and in this first mission is air to air mission as long as I can tell, <laughs> and I am a, I, I, I am a really be this in um, plane fighters. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron head to runway. Column squadron take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, main squadron. Okay, that's my plane, my beautiful plane, as you can see. Also, I have the alicorn, <laughs> an alicorn in, as my icon. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. Okay. 
that game. So. My character is standing is called Trigger. Because I'm a happy Trigger! <laughs> you get the point of. Because I'm a happy Trigger! Okay, you already get the point. Okay. That's our first target. Again, this mission is also a tutorial mission. But I really like this. Also, also, the music of this game is freaking amazing. In the last attack, expect the worst and stay sharp. I can. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage Two. Not bad, Mage Two. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Okay. I switch like that, and then it is sitting there, all pretty, just waiting to be taken. They're way overhead. Okay. Let's go introduce ourselves. Sure, do. Uh, what, what was your name, clown? I'm gonna call you Pennywise if, you, if your name is Cow. Yeah, your name is Clown. Okay, automatically your name is gonna be changed as Pennywise because. I like. I feel like it. Okay, I wasn't able to to Tommy gun this fucker, and I don't think I can because for some reason in this game actually the the speed on the other planes can actually go more slower than my and don't stall. Yeah, that shall be in it. Okay, can I? I'm gonna try to actually machine gun this, this fucker. It's a bomber, so it's gonna be easy. Target is in range of guns. No, it's not gonna be easy because I have to manage my speed very well. Okay, I am stalling. There is nothing that I can manage. So for now, I'm gonna do this. Wait a little bit, close. Nice, nice. I really like how it is this. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. It's enough. <laughs> Target confirmed down. Mage two. Nice. Mage two. Okay. Targets in range. Pair of bombers. There it goes. Trigger, stay calm. You got this. I already got this. Shut up, Pennywise! I know what I'm doing. Five seconds later, I crash. <laughs> but hey, if I if I if I go and live by my first flight, I can do a, I can do almost everything. This, this, one, two, three, four, yeah! <laughs> It's racing! Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. Not too shabby, Mage 2. But you still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. Yeah! <laughs> Skykeeper, this is Mage 1 over. Tally two bandits. Okay, two more? Oh, oh over there. Bomber and an escort. Whoa, their trigger settle down. Mage 2. Maintain your element with I... Mage 1. Do not break off. Mage 1. There we go. He doesn't do anything stupid. We'll come. Let's maintain element. Yeah! I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Yeah, trying to make... To not make me something stupid is... Ah, uh, mission impossible. Got the bomber! Bad boy, trigger. <laughs> this is HQ. Attention all combat Okay, I'm gonna try to position myself pretty well. There we go. Yeah, UAVs are a uh, really bit more difficult to hit, at least with a missile because they can actually do impossible tricks. At least for uh, a ton of other people. Because we all know that main characters can sh 
can't get tons of other care. The skills that are impossible for the other characters. Okay, I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take that one first. Okay, he's still moving, so. Let's get back. And here's the other one. Are you there with that? Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun for myself. So if you don't, if you don't mind. Hesitating for a split second could be the difference between life and death. Stay sharp. Think fast. Roger that. There we go. Nice one. Okay, I'm gonna go take those that are coming. Just for the sake of it, because I don't want to lose the mission. But again, I think it's only this four, and I am ready to finish the mission. So, and again, this is the tutorial mission, so it's not gonna be that difficult. Also, I pretty decent pilot. Mage two, walking. Okay, you know what? I got this. Nice. That's another one down. Another one by the last. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I'm gonna take this four with my special mission. I'm not sure why it's called a special me so but it's what it is one remaining. Okay, I Major couldn't take the other one. The last this. one. So I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, and uh, there you are. Hello! Hee <laughs> hee! Ah, this is a also, the uh, missile oh, camera is well amazing. <laughs> Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Mission accomplished. Oh, mission complete. Why the fuck you trying to do? Looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in hmm. one piece. You hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Ah, uh, fuck you. you I'm the What's better the pilot than you guys are. Column one, return to base and report for debriefing. Hmm. What if I don't want to? Okay, probably it's because it's the better because I might run out of fuel, so I gotta do that. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, Erosia. Me, me, uh, my, my team. I'm not sure what's what's the name. Probably Sasha. I don't care about the replay. Thank you very much. I just live the moments. That's the why. So I think it's Osia and Erosia are in war, and for some reason they are using planes. So uh, <laughs> there's no uh, good stuff. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. Hmm. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. Hmm. You have our thanks. You're welcome! And also, I demand a little bit of chocolate ice cream to celebrate. Because I really like chocolate ice cream. So, let, let's go. Let's keep going. Because I have two hours of stream and I really As like this game. 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate mm -hmm. the drones were secretly <coughs> transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. 
The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, <coughs> all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erujian Army. Space Reports Elevator? President Harling was touring the site at the time, <clears throat> but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. Eh. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. We are at war, people! Osea launched an attack on the capital today, okay. striking Farmati from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Osean Air Force nah. fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. Okay. For some reason, we still at war! The world was screwed. Oh, come on! <laughs> 20 years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. Hmm. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. Mm -hmm. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erujia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erujia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. Mm -hmm. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. Mm. President Harling yeah, was touring they... the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Well, they Osea want pissed to. lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erujia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. Okay, so that's... this is how the, the girl survived. For some reason. If you crash your plane, you're gonna die! In case you were wondering... Yeah, I survived. I died, but I survived! <laughs> Air Force Base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. Of course. But you are from Russia or Russia? That's the that's the main thing, and that's not my character. So that's another side character from the story. <laughs> you don't have a lot of side characters in this game. For some reason, they aren't gonna show the main character. Wait, Chai! I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship too. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is... We headed off ah. down south for several days, and then swung east. 
That's how I got here. I don't want to interrupt the, the story of this goddamn on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats, and the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Hmm. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. No shit! This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out. And set the dogs on me. Too bad! If you have a bad leg, you surely don't want to run away. Especially when they have dogs. I know for experience. Kids don't leave the jail. Erusia, a prison, a whatever. To the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhia. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Arusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advanced element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Okay, so in this mission I need an air to land, probably. Yeah, let's gonna go with an air to land plane, which I have a ton of them. Hold on, uh, one of my favorites is this one. And it's 234. Now this one is not a good plane for me. Let me check, which one I could use? It. I need an... A plane with an... Air to land, probably it's uh, this one. Uh, nah, this one is not good. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to, re to remember the <laughs> name of this game. Of these planes. Now this is for... This is for, ne for Neva Battles. Uh, this one is good. Which one? Ah, it's because of you, that's you. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. I will use the F-35. What's your, what's the, your, what's your name? Uh, Lighting 2, okay. I'm gonna use the Lighting 2. For this one, because this one, this mission is actually air to land, so I need an air to land plane to actually do Squadron it. Squadron 30, ASAP. Sure! Aye aye, Captain! Or whatever the fuck you are! I'm gonna go and do my best piloting plane, or whatever the fuck you call it! Because I am a fucking pl pilot plane! And that's my job! For some reason. <laughs> Current target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti air weaponry. Destroy the target! 
Okay. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. But uh, any that... aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. Exactly. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep. Page two. Okay, here you go. Okay, I need to recharge my missiles and try. No shit! Okay, I need to recharge my missiles and then do another. Another slide? Right in there. There we go. That's why. Target destroyed. Three to go. Continue to engage at your discretion. Okay, I need to. Ah, come on. Okay. I'm left off special missile, so I'm gonna try to use normal missiles. There we go. That's a hit. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Let's try. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a good pilot. I'm like Hashman from Tokan. Continue with the mission. Crush as many as you can. Damn it. Okay. Fortunately, most of this, of these, um, these targets are air air targets. Oh shit! There we go. Yeah, I have to take care uh, also with the missiles that come because for some reason, when there's so much shit on screen. Okay, and there's uh, too much shade on screen, I can't see the missiles. Because the missiles have uh, white lines. And it's difficult to see them! Nice. Okay, uh, let me check. Let me check. I think I can... No, you know what? I'm gonna get my focus on land targets. Because they are difficult to get. So I'm gonna try to wipe the land ones first. Okay, uh, this is not going well for me because there's too much shit on screen. That's the why. Okay, one down. Oh shit! Keep your mind focused. All transports have been destroyed. But okay, I received some damage for a missile, so but but it's okay, it's okay. It's only three percent damage. It's because I need ah. Okay, I. There we go. Okay, you know what? I can actually get my full attention to the plane, so. I think I already get all land. No, wait, there's one more. But I'm gonna get my attention to the to the other planes. The clouds don't just affect your field of vision; they also mess with your HUD and radar. The seekers can sometimes lose their lock on to their targets too. They're losing it if their allies in the ground. There we go. Oh, okay, no, you you already. I already lost the track of that. H2 missile launch. There we go. Okay, I need to take down. He's mine. He's not getting away. I need to take down the plane, the other planes. Nice. Okay. There we go. 
Okay, I hit one. That's nice. I just need to hit him with another one. There we go. Miss. Got the bed. Nice. One down. Okay. There we go. Can you stop moving? Are you afraid of death? I've got him in my sights. Stop moving. That's a miss. How the hell is the enemy able to hit us so accurately when it's camouflaged? Missile launched. Nice. Missile connected. Four targets remaining. Okay, I need to take down the land one. There he goes. Okay. Now I need to kill those other planes that remains. Nice. Okay, here we go. I just need to see where they will. Uh, okay. Never mind. Got it. Ah, uh, you are this! You are this! Whatever the fuck you pronounce that. What happened? It's the drones! Multiple bogeys on radar. They're close. Wait, they're being launched. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. On target. Judging by the way they look. Shit! Move, you see that move? <laughs> that was amazing! Well spotted, clown. No doubt about it, we're dealing with UAVs. But that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. Yeah, I know how to do that. Cut them it. Bandits confirmed as UAVs. Okay, I need to. Bandits are drones. No worries. I know. Destroy all enemy fighters and get out. It doesn't matter. There we go. Say the war can change in an instant. Get over it. Yeah, I just wish they'd give us a bit more warning. Come on, my friend. There you go. One down. Yeah. Don't try to read their movements. I'm not. Well, actually, I I was, but <laughs> if you told me that I don't have to, I think that's that's my be my my best my problem in here because I tried to read. Ah, moments. Okay. Only three more UIBs. And I have and I need tons of faith and time. And I have a ton of faith and time. I missed that one. Yeah, he actually can do a really good. He okay. My my advantage in here is because the UIBs can do like really unfair. You turn. Which is nothing that I really like. Nice one. Okay, I just need one more. Come on. Okay, there we go. Damn it! I lost luck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now moves, I'm gonna send it. them. Just chase them down and pull the Come on! Stop moving! Are you afraid of them? The Stop moving! For just a bit. There we go. Nice kill trigger. Down. Yeah. The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTB. Nice. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. I don't know. Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. Hey, that's how war, war no works. Arguing. That's how war is these days. 
Yeah, Black Friday. Someone gets killed. That's what I was saying. The guys in charge take care of the rest. Yeah. But anyway, I don't need re replay because I am good at fighting, a dog fighting, whatever you call it. But again, I think it's a really stupid way to call it dog fight because why the fuck it's called dog fight? You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. Okay. As I was saying, why it's called dog fight? I mean, place doesn't look like dogs. Why? Why dog fight? <laughs> I want anybody to explain me that. I don't understand the human brain. That's the why. I'm gonna let him from outer space. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay. I said everything. Come on, hit me. The surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting edge aircraft carrier Kestrel-2 was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel-2 is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Farbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg. So, expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new, advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone, MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive Arsenal Birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. I don't need luck! I fabricate my own luck! By hacking other planes. Don't question it! I just do that! <laughs> Okay, let's begin mission. That this is an air to air fight, so I'm kind of, I'm gonna use another one. Um, I think repenade a is a good a good one. Nah, let's use another one. Ah, what plane should I use? I like uh, I can use the Su thirty. Hmm. I could use the uh, Su-30. Use Su-30 where it was. This one. I could use this one. Yeah, you know what? Let's use this one. I'm gonna choose. Uh, yeah, this one. High maneuver. My high maneuver uh, missile. Uh, do I want to choose? Nah, let's use the stress strikes. Nugget. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's this is a really good one. Maybe I can change the my my Holly. Okay. Nah, nah, it's okay. Nah, it's okay with this one. I really like this one. Deploy. New squadron aircraft preparations complete. Sure, it's complete. I already set up what I want to use. 
Voilà, t'as qu'à rester pour parler. Thank you very much. Tiens, j'ai même passé jamais casse my... <rire> my legs hurt. So, let's do this, my friends. On war to the battlefield. Refueling initiated. Maintain your current position. Now, of course, but, but before that, let's refuel. Okay, no worries. Maintain your current approach. No worries. I know how to refuel. Thank you very much. 50 meters. Ah, da, 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 it's it's something that so, something that I don't know. Also, it's the fact that I I already know, but I didn't know the first time I played this game is the fact that. This is a this is an actual thing. They got they refuel the planes in me there. This is an actual thing and I didn't know that. <laughs> I feel betrayed by the reality. <laughs> Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other bases squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage Squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. Sure do. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Mage one, Wilco. Here we go! Lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys that we get wet wild and do dirty, dirty things. Sure we do! And so your first hunting season begins. Ah. Down. Excellent work. ah, you stole me that one. Going to just knock us down. This right here is what we call a learning experience. There we go. Roger that. You lost control. You actually are on fire right now. <laughs> if you can't evade a missile, use chaff and flares. Hello. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> If I sound a little happy, it's because I like killing people, that's the why. <laughs> Especially with vehicles. Okay, I already got done with my gun, so... This one is... A gunner! Yeah! <laughs> okay, that's actually a really... That was <laughs> more see. More faster than I thought. Okay, you are around this cloud. My wings are raised up. He escaped into the cloud. Nice! Yeah! Forget about trigger, just call me Angel of Death in this fucking sky on or whatever. Now you know what? Let's let's go trigger happy trigger <laughs> Because I'm a happy trigger right now Ah fail Okay uh There we go Looks like they weren't ready for a down Only one more Only one more, and I think this is gonna be easy! This is gonna be easy! This is gonna be easy, come on! Come on! Yeah! Miss! I hate when I miss! That was an easy one! Come on, please! Hit! Nice! Nice! Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Nice one! I haven't even broken a sweat. Oh shit! I'm trying! I'm trying! How many missiles are there? Okay, here, here comes the big guns. Unfortunately for me, because that thing is not from my side. <laughs> we really should use something like that on our side. It's gonna be more easy. <laughs> the fight more easier. <laughs> I 
I mean, what kind of alien technology is that one? We just learned that Erusia is utilizing the arsenal bird. Those bastards. They had that thing combat ready this whole time. Enemy has a radar lock. No worries. That's what I bring. That's why I bring the high maneuver missiles because I know this is going. This was going to happen. But I, mean, I, I only have 30. I only have 16. So I need to manage them the best I, as I can. Okay, I need to. I need to kill the arsenal bird. So let's get going over there. That's what I'm gonna do to do. Unfortunately, there's a lot of drones guarding it. So I'm gonna try to actually do that and clear my path the best as I can. Okay, I'm gonna drop my. Okay, I only have three flares, so I need to use them as carefully as I can because this game is not. Okay, come on. There goes. There goes. No shit. No. Okay. Alright, I'm me. Okay, I need to. I to the arsenal bird. There we go. There we go. That's. God damn it! A fucking drone getting my way. That's a why. <laughs> Okay, I need to try to aim him. Okay, I'm gonna. Shit! Skeleton two lost. Okay, that's on a. Skeleton squadron is down. We've had too many losses. I'm assuming that as a. Squadrons, command has ordered a complete withdrawal. Leave the operation area immediately. Brilliant observation. Okay. So I have to cover everyone to retreat. There we go. Up here. Get back to base and cool your head. Okay, here we go. Copy that. Returning home. Nice one. Missile headed for friendly. Okay, I need to cover everybody. Just keep firing. Nice one. That's it, trigger. Their machines don't show many mercy. I am not showing mercy. Not even, not even with people. <laughs> yeah, he just didn't pay attention for what I was doing. This is getting a little tight. You think? Okay, let's go. Nice one. Three more. Squadron, okay, never mind. Let, let's come more. Come on. I'm trying. Retreating aircrafts. Prepare for combat. Okay. It's a bogey. I got. I have to. There's one plane that needs my help. Come on. One lost. What the hell? Gotta go one lost. Column two. Status report. 
Cut the Come on, go until you you need to go, man. Go away. Where the fuck are you? Nah, you're you're way too far. <laughs> I, can't, I can't reach you. <laughs> it's because he's playing with your mind. That's why. Come on, buddy. Let it go. I'm trying, don't you see? Actually, I'm the only one that is doing the work. I think the work. Okay, only one more. And I can move to the other one. Come on. There we go. Okay, I need to take care of this other. Status report. She's a predator. The weak get eaten. Golem 2, get a hold of yourself. Golem 2, get away from the enemy. Mage 2, support. I can't, you are way too far. Support. Well, there she go. Okay. Where's the one that got Brony? I'm afraid he's long gone by now. Sorry. It's okay, she was losing her mind, so she was she was dead already. Okay, I need uh, to take one of Okay, never mind. I did it! I'm tied up now. Trigger, can you help him? Yeah, I already did. I did your fucking dirty work! And I'm so, and I'm not so proud of it. I should be resting down there. I said what I had to say. Yeah. About what? Not a girl who'd retreat. Just not in her DNA. Hmm. That was the right decision at the time. No, I should have never let a fledgling like her out of my reach to begin with. Golem Squadron, Maid Squadron, withdraw. Okay, where are we drawing? Actually, I think we are. Alright! Go, so. Okay! Oh. Okay, I need to land this thing. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna land this thing. Why not? Because why not? Page two, lower speed. I am like at 200 velocity, so... Shut the fuck up, I know how to... How to land this plane. You're talking with the fucking days! Shut up! Uh, you wanna see how to land a, a fucking plane? This is how you land a fucking plane! This is how you land a fucking plane! You see? I want you to come over here and land this plane like, like I did! Nicely done, Mage 2. I knew you'd be back. Stand by for further orders. Be ready for your next sortie. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't need a replay. Thank you very much. I know how I perform. <laughs> I perform very well. Not a hit. I think I. I think that I. I only hit. Was hit once, and it was in a really bad position because I was going straight to land, and I saved my fucking ass. The two front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel Two was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. 
Our own forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. Okay. So we lost uh, a tons of people are back there. Probably because the, the mysterious pilot. Ooh, mysterious pilot. There he is. It's the fucking moron that kills my friends. Miha is looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. They're sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. Hmm. But today, he was really showing his age. He's an The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. Hmm. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. <clears throat> Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. How is that even he possible? Was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many G's he hit today during the battle. <coughs> As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. Hmm. So he's a lab rat. They're technically using an old man too as a lab rat. Unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. <coughs> If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for a Rouge's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erusian princess rallying her people on the Erusian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. Hmm. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans, too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake ass planes to trick Arusha, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. Okay. You can count on that. Yeah, I can count on that because you are really smart. I like others. But anyway, you call that fans, but I call it cocksuckers. That's the way. <laughs> if you're a princess, you, you're a cocksucker if you, if you hear all the transmission with so. By the failure of our previous strategy, the arsenal hmm. birds have bolstered the enemy's anti air network. This will be difficult to overcome. 
However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circum-Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Ah, okay, I thought you there was. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified I thought they were talking about Elon Musk. The elevator was taken over by <laughs> the Russian forces. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. Hmm. We will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, a reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. After you bust through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Okay. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. Okay, so I need to avoid stuff. And an invisible stuff, nonetheless. That's something that I really don't really don't like. So I need a high maneuver plane to do that. I'm not gonna use the raven. I use the falcon. Okay, um, which one of you have? You have a lot of mobility. Uh, I can use the you. I'm gonna use you. But the thing is that I'm not sure what. Nah, you know what? No, I'm not gonna use you. You have terrible. Ah, you have terrible weapons. I need a better. Okay, you are air to air. Okay, semi active missiles, and it's not that good. Huh. I could use the Morgan. No, it doesn't have any. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use you because you have tons of mobility, so... And I'm gonna use... I could use you. Uh oh, okay, I'm gonna use this because... It, it, it doesn't have good weaponry. But hey, if you can actually have a, a shield that avoids all missiles? I'm gonna take it. Okay, blue and white. Just like I love it. <laughs> Again, it's because I'm from Argentina, that's the white. And I'm gonna use the emblem. I'm gonna use... Uh, what kind of emblem should I use? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use the Garuda emblem. Where's the Garuda emblem? There it goes. Because, because the, the Garuda emblem is cool. Also, it's the, one, it's the only emblem that I really like. <laughs> if you already know what a Garuda is. Okay, so right now I have to, I have a plane with huge mobility. So that means that I should be able to actually um, <clears throat> avoid all the radars. I think. Entering operation area. Imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. Okay, anyway, I didn't want to actually hear the fucking voices anyway. Enemy radar. 
use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Yeah, whatever. I still need to actually avoid uh, those raiders. Which is kinda easy. If you already know how to use a fucking plane. My, ol my only disadvantage in this mission is because the fucking wind. Yeah! Exactly what I what I was saying. You're a third of the way to the rendezvous point. Good job, but stay focused. Okay, I come on win. You're not happy. There we go. Ah I hate when the win is <laughs> is that is that strong. Okay, I need to actually move. Junior, you got two directions you can take up here. Just go with your gut. Don't worry. We're watching over you. Thank you very much, but I'm not sure if that's gonna help me. If you can control them, they win. I I may be really grateful. Making good progress, Trigger. You're currently halfway to your rendezvous point. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It's just gonna be you and your radar out there. Just know we got a bunch of people pulling for you. Yeah, thank you. I guess. And I'm one of them. Yeah, that's not gonna help me. Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. Harling is still the president in my eyes. He ended a war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Okay, I did it. He remained a humble hero. I'll do my best to save him. Let me a hand, Trigger. No problem. Situation. Yeah, you're not gonna leave a hand. I'm actually doing that the work for you, so. Fuck you! The first stage of the mission is clear. Don't celebrate yet. The real fight's about to get started. Radio silence is now lifted. The auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. We're securing Sea Goblin's landing zone. Okay, so I have to do the fucking that the one. Target destroyed. I. I'm not. I don't complain because that means I can increase my body count. But yeah, it's it's just a big move, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a big move. Mage two, missile away. Mage two, target down. Okay, no worries. I still have this in my back. It's amazing. Half of the Sam sites are down. Sorry about the wait. Cavalry's here. Oh, now you're happy me. Trigger jump through the fire. Now it's our turn. Okay. okay. Eliminate the enemy before they can respond. Yeah, before you actually getting here. I think I actually can destroy them also. Eliminate hostile anti-air before that. All Sam sides down. Yeah, okay, there you are. If I destroy this, I see you now in my in my in my, in my radar. So, I literally did that all the hard work. I did all the hard work. And I don't like that. There it goes. Last one. All anti-air guns destroyed. There you go. And you guys. Zone is secure. You guys didn't do anything. I don't like that. Okay, I need to take care of business over there. Over the land. Okay, hey, there's an helicopter for some rescue some reason. Ah, oh, that's a rescue. Rescue craft on the ground is defenseless. Gollum and Mage, destroy all hostiles. Okay. It's been a long journey, but you're on the home stretch. Gargoyle will stand by near the space elevator. Okay then. Sea Goblin, heading over to the X present location now. Run for the container. Speaking of goblins. 
How many goblins are out there, last bit of us? I see a ton! The only thing that I didn't saw is... Eldritch Demons! Bitovers! I think I am the only one in the, in my, of my own species in... Out there! I mean, I'm kinda happy because... I'm special! But also I'm sad because I... I, I I'm the only one. But also it's, a, it's something that I don't complain because... Again, it's... I'm here for conquer the whole world and if that means that there's no other competition in there I'm okay with that Eliminate all enemy UAVs. Don't let up. Yeah, but the thing is that I want to destroy all the all the containers so they can deploy any more UAVs, that's a why I'm gonna take care of the UAVs later. Right on this, everybody! You already know how, how, how priority this works. Oh, okay. Never mind. That... I lost on myself. Come on! Get them it. Go to hang in there. Uh -huh. Shit. Oh fuck! Uh. Okay, what was that? I'm sorry. Uh, Crystal! <laughs> I wa I was doing a U-turn <laughs> to actually announce your your A. Thank you very much! <laughs> oh god! I almost crashed! <laughs> Ah. Sir, we feel the same way. <laughs> ah, okay, that, that, that sure is gonna be a clip for later. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I think I take care of all the containers. Okay, let's see. How many? Okay, that was. Let's. I thought. I think it, there's only five UAVs. I missed one. Damn it. All squadrons be advised. The call sign is Mother Goose One. I've sent the information via the data link. Nice. Three remaining. Okay, there's only three. That's a good. That, that, that's a good number. I can take care of three UAVs. I'm not Two more! I'm clear! Cut them it! Okay, I need to get in position before I get that one. There it goes! Nice! Okay, where's the other one? It's really far away, but I'm gonna take it. I'll take all the chances to get that one. But it's okay, I have to wait until that thing, that chopper over there, get get away, so I need to... So I'm gonna be... Being on to. I can take care of this uh, beast without any problem. When that thing gets in there, that's why the problems are gonna start. <laughs> Come on! There we go! All UAVs have been splashed. Hey! Former President Harling's transport is ready to take off. Mother Goose One, take off. Alright. Mother Goose One taking off. There he is! Let's wait till we're home safe. Mage Squadron, Mother Goose One ah. heading south. Provide support. Five okay. It's remaining. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed. Oh, they shake out a lot of you at least. <laughs> Forerunner for Arsenal Bird. A big 
Big Bird is coming, huh? Mage, protect Mother Goose One. Shoot down any UAVs. Okay. Intercept the UAVs. Golem One will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a holes. Golem Two, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Forming up. Yeah, because the last Golem Two didn't have a good end. So I can uh, can understand that. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be easy. For some reason, the UAVs are not touching. Probably it's because they are they want to take care of the chopper. Damn it, I missed that one. There it goes. Get me down. Okay, come on, come on. This was on that. This was around. This was around. It's about! Okay, I need to take down these UAVs Because it's gonna... Okay, that's it <laughs> What are you gonna do? Are you gonna help me? Oh no, okay, for some reason you, I think you're attacking the Space Elevator it is the best chance because I am coming from space! I want to conquer! So uh, If you want if you destroy that, I I'm okay with that. My other four sisters are not gonna come in here. Damn it. Come on! I okay, at least I kill one. I'm trying, but it's a lot of you. Mother Goose One hit. Mother Goose One has been hit. Colonel Johnson, respond. Mate Squadron, assess the situation. Okay. It's a hit. One, I have Mother Goose One in my sight. The cabin's fine, but the cockpit's not looking so good. It's a hit, so it's. Johnson, are you okay? It's still a good thing, I guess. Yeah, the Sky Keep, should we continue providing cover for Mother Goose One? Of course. Yeah. Two, on your six. I don't think they're gonna be alive. There are right, then. Mother Goose One is turning. What's going on? They're heading to the space elevator. Flying at a steady altitude, who's in control? It's not the Colonel. Mr. Harling's the only one on board. Mother Goose One, respond! Yeah, yeah, they're, they're dead. Mr. Harling, please respond. We can't protect our objective if it sticks around here. Now's not the time to freak out, fellas. We've still got a job to do, so let's do it. Keep your mind focused. Mr. Harling, we are not giving up on you. The UAVs are approaching Mother Goose One. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Save Mother Goose now, One for some quarter. reason. One minute remaining. Mage two locked. Okay, come on. Mother Goose One, turn 180 degrees and exit combat. Mage two, Mage two. Okay, there it is now. <laughs> I did what I can. Oh my God! I'm not God. One has been shot down. I'm a demon. Where did the missile come from? Mage two fired that. Wait, what? <laughs> A friendly missile hit him. I didn't do that. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. No, wait. Mother Goose One I missed two. There. I didn't do that. Looks like it tried to protect the elevator. Arusian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage one. It's a trigger. No, it wasn't me. The trigger was the closest. 
Come on! Crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye in the hatch lane. It must have been a mistake. God damn it! Bird is entering. All aircraft Fuck you, Pennywise! <laughs> Fuck you, Pennywise! You're not gonna defend me! God damn it! Trigger, you can't fly for a while. You understand why. Ah! Fuck you, Pennywise! You are my superior, you're supposed to defend me! <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, you motherfucker, you, you're just gonna... You're just gonna... Uh, stay... Out... Of business. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. He exploded, Trigger, so. you are suspected of assassinating a former president. There will be an inquiry. There what? Will most probably be a court martial. What? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. This is political shit. This is political shit. Everybody, I have, I think, like two, probably two, uh, two witnesses that I was aiming from a fucking drone. I didn't kill a president. If I was able to kill a president, I surely do it on purpose. But it wasn't a purpose this time. I there was a, that was an accident, and I have an alibi. Well, actually, uh, I think it's because my my stream guess are, guess are not gonna be able to speak before. Bad news for us here at the prison. Yeah. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, it must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Mm -hmm. Day what is after it? day after day after day they bombed us. Osea didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. Mm -hmm. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. <coughs> Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. Mm -hmm. A cook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. Ah, uh, it wasn't me, right? My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job. And one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. Mm. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. <coughs> the next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> he died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's got to be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? I mean, that's karma. There's a rumor going around about another inmate. A guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this. Talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling. It's the like president me. of Osea during the last <laughs> it's war. It's me. Remember? He's the one <sighs> that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa. And why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks. Hmm. Yeah. I, I guess I am actually in prison now. But that's not gonna... That's not gonna right, stop guys, me, I I'll guess. I'll you in on some juicy info. The new guy was found guilty by the International Union Peacekeeping Forces Court Martial. He is the murderer of Harling in the flesh. 
Yeah, it's me. His tech name's <laughs> Trigger. Now, as of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. Hmm. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. Every last one of you has been incarcerated for one reason or another. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how to fly, and HQ needs to plug the deficit in our Air Force. So they proposed sending you guys on a reconnaissance mission to the Waipolo Mountains. But that idea was flat out rejected. Nope, you'll be atoning for your crimes right here at this base. Hmm. This base is a decoy designed to draw enemy fire. And as members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. This will allow our forces to safely prepare a counterattack. Incoming! Mm. Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay. I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Again? Wonder how many will lose today. Uh, better than <coughs> solitary. How many? Enemy aircraft detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Some of those piles of junk can at least <sighs> take off. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. We'll start with Harling's murderer. All we right, me. you to down any bombers. <clears throat> but what we do want is to make them think that we've got an active base here. Okay, so I don't have to actually kill anybody which is a bummer because I'm in prison so I obviously I'm not gonna have any any uh, authority to actually use a fucking a fucking weapons yeah let's use the super guy uh, let's uh, okay this is an air to air so I'm gonna use the multiple air missiles <coughs> Deploy! It's time to get busy, convicts. Proceed with your mission now. Okay, I'm gonna proceed with my fucking mission. Shut the fuck up. Ugh. The politics looks like that. You kill a politician and you have to go to jail. In the middle of the war. Well, that, that doesn't sound actually... That sounds actually fair, but... Again, it's a fucking politician. Who's gonna care anyway? <laughs> You gotta become a hero! Trigger. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Control, would you kindly send me up first? Mm. Spare A. Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. All aircraft preparing for takeoff. Watch out mm. for Spare A. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take up command. Any objections? Yeah. That'll get decided in the skies. <laughs> Too shit. Yeah. Trigger, your call sign is spare 15. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. Commencing deception and interception. Okay. There we go. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. The blood's boiling. Toss the chump in solitary once he gets back. Spare 8, when you land, your ass is grass. Spare 15, take off confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles again. The FCS is locked. Mm. Yeah. Damn. You're good. Let's make this more interesting. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. <laughs> Here comes Harling's. Yeah, I'm not gonna use use. Yes. He shot two missiles right between old Harling's eyes. I hope. Always in the know, aren't you? <laughs> in this war, intel Michael. is a life or death matter. Settle down. Excited to have another murderer with you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I... This is Bandog. Ah. Spare 15, I'm handling surveillance. I'm innocent. Bombers that attack the runway are coming back for another... Again, I, I guess that's how politicians <laughs> work. <laughs> Politics works, I'm sorry. You need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atone for your crimes. Much appreciated. <laughs> okay, I need to actually... Any aircraft leaving the operation area will be shot down. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Right -o. <sighs> I mean, I can... I can avoid the missile, so... I can actually fly away, <laughs> if I want. They're making some big holes. Killing them's gonna be a pain in the ass. Warfare evolves, 
not people. No, people just keep getting stupider and stupider. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know? Blowing up a bunch of paper plates. This the enemy seems to think our air force is concentrated on this base. This prisoner is actually the ground is fake. Can't the enemy see that? <laughs> so that convincing. This prisoner get it. The enemy just hit the control tower. Hey, what's with all the shaking? Okay, now that the enemy get closer. Are you trying to kill me? So I ordered them to shoot down all. Commander. Uh oh. Commander McKenzie. Damn it. Spare squad, he's it up. Shoot down everything carrying bombs. Weapons free. You're clear to engage. Okay. Now we're talking. I wanna bet which one of us gets the first kill after the start. This is the pain of you. The count's going forward. I decide when you die. Alright, I'm assuming command. All aircraft support me. Who's gonna dance to your line tune? I'll show you all how it's done. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything. I ain't gonna take all the glory from you. Sorry, count. That's how it is. <laughs> okay, you know what? I got lucky. Three out of three. Spare fifteen, bandit splashed. <laughs> Keep an eye on your head count. We can compare later. Yeah, I'm betting that report will get dressed up real pretty. Head to the next target. Okay, I'm heading over there. You don't have to tell me. Incoming hostile group detected. Take care of them. I know. A bomber's at high altitude. Stop watching your own asses and look up. Allow me to educate you. Get them it. In this unit, you get your tail marked with scratches. The more scratches, the more heinous the crime. They're called sin lines. You have three scratches, right, Trigger? Well, you are Harling's murderer. Yeah, the thing is that you can see the scratches because I have a customized plane. And my icon is a little unicorn. <laughs> Okay, right. Two more. Oh wait. Never mind. Three more. This is gonna be easy because they're a bumper, so. Missed! Got the bet. Okay, you know what? I ain't gonna do it. As always, put me myself in the back. Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna play flares. I know I have limited flares, but hey, they're in there for some reason. No worries. I also can actually kill planes. So shut up. Sit on the back, and you will see. <laughs> ah, these inmates are are my family. I'm a new family. I got good money riding on your survival. <laughs> Some guys have got big money riding on you going down, so watch your back. Spare seven, shut up. You don't, you don't have to tell me that. Terror. Got the right time, that one. It's okay. I still have... I still have time and patience so this is gonna be easy The targets are still active Keep up the attack What the hell are you doing? Are you? Hey! Madam McKenzie, please maintain silence for the moment Trigger again! Yep! I'm doing it! Oh, there, there they were, that's the why. Beginner's luck! Fuck you, Count!
I am the attacking a lot, or a little bit. I am actually attacking, don't you see? <laughs> Why not? They look, they have less time than a fuck that. None kick. Marcellus. Yeah, whatever. Where are they? Okay, get that over there. First, go down. Okay, I need to. Lucky shot. One bandit left. Take him down now. I take it. All targets confirmed eliminated. Yeah. Hell yeah. Still alive, Harling's murderer? Then dinner's on me tonight. Cut the chatter, spare squadron. Mission complete. RTB. Mm hmm. Yep. Triggers I am. Yeah. Must have the devil in his corner. Spare seven. What happens if the one you've bet on mm. dies while landing? <laughs> then you win. So what? You're not done? I'm not immune. I'm not immune, so. Just checking. I don't have it at the wheel. I'm a, I am a demon. That's the way. Spare 15, this is the control tower. Make your landing check. We don't want a wreck blocking the runway. Okay, here we go again. 15, you have permission to land. Wind conditions are calm. 3,000 meters. Hey. <sighs> too fast. Lower your airspeed. I'm 200. <laughs> Lower your nose. You're too high. You know what? Something that I now notice is that the, the control the control tower doesn't know how to land a, a fucking plane. That's a why. That's their own problem with all the control towers. That's why I have to do my own work. Do my own, own dirty work. Do you wanna land a fucking plane? You pass the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. You land it like this! Easy! Easy peasy! At least you're down. Careful with the aircraft next time. Ah, fuck you! <laughs> I lost a lot of money for that trigger. Don't forget. I never forget. Actually, I'm gonna make you lose a lot of money, Van Gogh. So, you better shut up and better take care of your fucking money. Ah. Okay. What is it? Did I say you could take down the enemy? Throw anyone who disobeys into solitaire. Ah! Fuck you! You stupid prison guy! Whatever you. Whatever your name is, I don't remember your name. Salty Sailor! Mihai's granddaughters like to keep to themselves mostly. They were well behaved and possessed a sort of quiet elegance. From time to time, I'd catch myself looking at them, wondering what they were talking about. I'm sure everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. Mm. If you say so. Every night, a crowd would gather around Mihai. They were the men tasked with guarding him in the air. Their jackets all bore the same patch, a relic from a nation that was long gone. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the Kingdom of Erugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them, Yet what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? Hmm. People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shilaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Cornelio Leopold Blanca Carol Aeon Ignatius Raphael Maria Nikitas A. That's a, that's a fucking large name! <laughs> when he was young, he was the heir to the Grand Duchy of Shilaji, 
Then, revolution broke out among his people. Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Arusian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot. When the royal family was ousted and Arusia became a republic, he continued his service for the new regime. Hmm. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. She laughed like a princess, and I found out later she was indeed the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She was the connection to the royal bloodline everyone was looking for the one to restore the monarchy. This new princess was truly a godsend for the Erujian people. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Hmm. Her face was so expressive. It's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. They started singing. Oh no! The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. Mm hmm. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. You're not a creepy man after all. It was my job to research his neurological data after all. I wish I could figure him out. Whatever his feelings were about losing his homeland. He kept hidden, even from me. I mean, it's an old man, so of course it's gonna be grumpy. <laughs> okay, um, I think I can do another, a new, another mission. <clears throat> what is it? Hit me with the briefing. Your mission is to atone for your crimes by attracting the enemy's attention. Really? First. I want you to head from the base to the desert region of Roca Roja to the northwest. And then second, you will attack the large Arusian base there. We've been unable to verify that base's ability to deal with fighters. You will attack and provoke the enemy into revealing their AA strategy. Get them to fire at you as much as you can. That way, we can confirm where they're firing from. Then it's a case of sending in a regular force to clean them out. For this mission, we prepared a frontline base that can be used for ammo replenishment and aircraft repairs. However, this is not for you guys. Only the regular force has permission to use it. Even if you run out of ammo, don't forget that you're just decoys. You stay out there as targets for the enemy. Ah, fuck you, Commander. Okay, I need a lot of missiles air to land. So I'm gonna use I I think I'm gonna I can use the the strike raptor. <coughs> yeah let's use the strike raptor <coughs> uh, let me check Nah I think I, I'm okay with that Deploy Aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Okay, so this is gonna be the last mission I'm gonna play. Because I already hitting my two hour stream. And let's try to do some something a little a little raid. Later if I yeah, I have a ton of people that I can raid. Hello! Welcome. Aircraft spread out and attack. We're clear to attack, right? I heard the regular forces were gonna clean things up. It's just like before. We blow the shit out of everything. Yep. <laughs> attack, aren't you, Spare Aid? 
Regular forces can reduce losses if you tenderize the base first. If you can't handle that, just fly and be a target. <laughs> We're being attacked. Enemy aircraft. Oh, nice up in there. Okay, there's four targets. I got them. Nice. Transport truck spotted. Not a threat. But feel free to take them out. Okay, I need to take care of what I'm doing here because. The fire set up a chain reaction. At least stop it from spreading. Nice one. getting out alive? That's for you to figure out, Spare Seven. Okay, I have 50. locations. Some have air power, so their threat levels vary. Think of the best way to rob them of their ability to respond. Use those empty heads of yours. If you die too fast, you won't even be useful as targets. The vehicles have been taken yeah. out. Move on to the next target. You're our official fly swatter now, Trigger. Any regular aircraft that join later needing any repairs or ammo will fly over the return line. However, you guys do not have that luxury. So, what are we supposed to do? I don't know, probably die because they told us to die! you want us to actually destroy a base without ammo and makes no sense so yeah of course the people is gonna resupply oh, come on you didn't die with that I hit you with two missiles you're supposed to explode ah, okay you know what give me that bomb now we got a fucking boom now! There we go! Okay. There's another one. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> ah! I need to take care of what I. How, the place that I am in because I'm very sure I'm gonna lose a lot of. Okay, one more! Down! That bomber's getting away! Chase it down like you mean it, morons. I am meaning it. Except when I miss! Get the mad. Uh. Why are you running away? Are you afraid of death? There we go. All enemy bombers destroyed. <laughs> that should put a wrench in their plans. Now we can sleep in for once. Okay, not for once because I we still have to do this. This fuckers. Bombs away. Nice. Hostiles in your area are nearly wiped out. Get moving to a more crowded area. Try to catch some more lead. You're giving me another okay. shot. Okay. Must be my lucky day. The enemy base is divided into three sections. You did nothing more than destroy just one of them. Why are you acting like some big shot count? Ah, Trigger's the one who did most of the work. Why are you so proud of this, full band? Finally have a read on the targets. They're in one hell of a place. I'll take you from here. At least one of them actually are... are aware that I am doing all that their work. I appreciate it and also I'm kinda pissed about that. Like, come on! If you if you already know that I'm doing it very well, you can you can actually do something to catch on. I'm just saying. Spare fifteen locked on. The happy spiked. Trigger's taken out one of the AA guns. Spare fifteen to <sighs> destroyed. Yeah, of course, like always. I mean, come on! Full band! Count! You should be do have a kill! Just, you know, for variety! Instead of me doing all the stuff. After all! 
After all, you guys are from, I'm not sure, Russia. What, what the, what the hell is Russia? <laughs> okay, let's just say that is the east coast of of Euro Europe. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna assume that. Okay, I need to take care of this. Come on, there we go. Spare 15, target destroyed. Okay, I almost reached that point that I need to actually complete the mission, so... Let's get going! There we go. There we go, I reached the, the points that I needed for the, for the mission clear, so... What I do now is for fun. There we go. Ooh, that was close. You the devil, that's the why. <laughs> you, 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 you know that guy that actually killed a lot of orphans? Nah, he, killing a fucking president is a fucking, it's a fucking worst. There it goes. Okay. There we go. Okay, I need to take care of this. Of this land stuff. Just for a second speed. I don't need any more. But I just want to. I want to take. I want all uh, these air to land missiles. Have a purpose. Okay, come on. There we go. That's okay, I have like three flares. So if I see I can't evade a missile, I can use a flare. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on, come on. I like how this looks. Okay, here comes the drones. This is gonna be more interesting now. They're drones. These must be the infamous drones. They can go and fight without pilot? Machines are not replacing humans. Calm down. Just obstacles in your way. Don't forget your original mission. It's bad enough just dealing with the surface. Damn. Okay, where are the drones? Okay, they're coming this way, so I'm gonna go this you way. Know about the shit storm he was sending us into? The units are just pawns. That lion son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Don't pretend like you deserve any better. Continue with the operation. Just because I want to destroy some drones. <laughs> I already. I already. One, so... Okay, ah... Uh, I launched all the those missiles. God damn it. Yeah, but the thing is that I need to... Last two five minutes without dying. And that's gonna be easy. That's gonna be easy.
Come on! Yeah, there you go, Cyril. Yeah, because there's a lot of us. Spare 15 dead another. That's three. What happens to a vet when the banker's out? Another man down. There's no point. Retreat. Follow your orders. Continue the operation. Deserters will be punished. Come on, guys. If I am taking care of business, you guys also can. In, the, in this fucking unit, and apparently in the all the fucking units, <laughs> because I'm the only one doing the dirty work. Okay, I have three minutes of big time. A play time? I'm not sure. I didn't see Spider-Man uh, in English, I just said it on Spanish. So I'm assuming he said big time. <laughs> okay, no worries. I can't make this really fast, really easy. Come on! Give me that bomb! Give me that satisfaction of having a bomb! Thank you! Spare 15 is cleaning up 10 crafts down! Come on! Come on! There we go! There we go! Okay. Damn, these guys are agile! There we go! Nice! Okay, there's more drones? I think there. Come on! I can take all those drones before I come. Okay, they're not drones, they are actually real planes! Which is a bummer? Okay, here we go. Nice one. Okay, I got them. It. Okay, that's uh, the second hit that I had in the entire game, so... <laughs> I should use a flare. That, that's my... That's my... That's my problem, I don't... Sometimes I... Don't know how... Where, when to use a flare. There it goes. We should accomplish. Okay. You've hit the enemy base enough. Operation mm -hmm. is complete. Yeah! Bastards who flew off are going to wish they were never born. You guys get a pass. Damn right. I wouldn't be surprised if we're thrown in solitary too. I 
Yeah, he has that without station, so. That's what that gambling nut job would say if he was still here. <laughs> hmm. Where's your sense of humor, guys? Your buddy's making a joke. Laugh already. Nah. I will laugh if I kill him, but I won't laugh if I did it. Cut the glory. Yeah, I don't need that replay. Okay. Well, I hit that two hour stream, so that's gonna be the end of my stream. And unfortunately, I was. I think I did six missions of this game, and it's a really cool game. I have you to say that. Claims, but the mission succeeded. However, some of you crossed the return line for supplies and for repairs. This will result in solitary. Take them. Fuck you, prison man. I don't fucking care anyway. So um, that's gonna be the end of the stream tonight. Uh, let's see if I, we can raise someone. I think we can. Uh, we are within um, Rambo King, Lidophilia, and Roxy Manticore. Probably we can. We're gonna raid Roxy because I didn't raid her. Also, I didn't raid Rambo King, so I'm between those two. Mm, okay, let's raid them. Um, Let's raid Ramokin because he ha he only has three three people watching him, so let's raid him. So anyway, I hope you guys had a really good time, and um, next next week is gonna be a Dynasty Warriors Empire stream with a little twist because there's gonna be a lot of my other bitchover buddies to actually get in the way of my conquest. So hope you. You don't miss that because it's gonna be hell of hilarious. So anyway, uh, thanks for the chat to jo join the stream, and I hope you had a really fun. And as always, be safe out there and have a good night. See you next time, my minions. <laughs>